Hi guys, it's Magaz here and welcome to CBMPC TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my personal skirmish rifles and the granddaddy of modern spring bolt actions, the Maruzen APS-2 SV. I've owned this rifle since around 2004 and for a good few years it was my main skirmish rifle. In fact, because of this spring rifle I didn't use an AG for at least two of those years. But I did carry a gas blowback Western Arms SVI 3.9 as a backup pistol. I bought this from another player who had carried out some extensive upgrades. Internally, it is almost entirely custom. The barrel, cocking handle, bolt, spring, spring guide, piston, piston head and trigger series are all upgraded. The majority of which are Ladlax PSS2 parts. The spring is rated at 150%, which out of the box is supposed to give you 500 feet per second. The marks you can see on the stock are from real tree camo tape that covered the whole rifle when I bought it. I removed it and it left residue. I'm sure I could remove the residue but it kind of feels like part of the rifle now. Up at the front of the stock is a QD mount for a Chinese made bipod. This bipod fell apart and hasn't yet been replaced. By removing these individual butt plates the length of the stock is adjustable. The original flash hider was replaced with a PSS2 can. This makes the rifle remarkably quiet. As mentioned earlier, the bolt handle is upgraded with the much tougher Classic Army M24 bolt handle. The trigger is similar to that of a Glock and will only pull if it is engaged correctly. The safety is located just behind the bolt handle and is a sliding switch, rearwards for safe and forwards for fire. I use a Tasco 3-9x50E red and green illuminated scope. This lets in a lot of light at the objective lens and is incredibly clear. The only visible markings on the APS-2 are on the butt plate. When I need to switch to a secondary or backup weapon, I sling the rifle over my back with this Butler Creek padded sling. This is one of the toughest and most comfortable slings I have ever used. It's at this part of the video I usually do the chrono test. Unfortunately, the APS-2 took a chunk out of the chrono before I could get a reading. So you'll have to take my word that with 0.2 gram BBs it fires at 500 and with 0.43 it fires at 377. For the accuracy test, as usual I secured the rifle in the workbench and fired with 0.2s at 40 feet. It should be noted that the sight is zeroed for 35 plus meters. So it was a little way off at 40 feet. Nevertheless, all the rounds fall pretty close to each other. I then went on to run another accuracy test, this time pushing the target back to 50 feet and loading the rifle with 0.43 grams. I felt this would give a fairer representation of the rifle's accuracy, given that these are the rounds that I use in game. As you can see, the .43s fell into a much tighter grouping. The Maruzen APS-2 SV is built like the proverbial brick shithouse and has always performed amazingly. I've had confirmed kills up to 85 meters and have had some of the best days playing with this rifle. I've been looking into different ways to capture footage using this rifle 
hence the rail cable tied to the scope, and I have had a few ideas. The one I'm going to go with is dependent on a camera that I can only find in stock at one place in the UK. When it's available, there should be snappy gameplay footage coming to the channel. But for now, I've been Magaz. This has been another CBMPC TV video. Thanks for watching. If you have found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. Subscribe for more videos. And remember, the air may be soft, but our balls are hard.